So I finally took apart the electronics on the bench drill. At least wanted to take a shot on repairing it. The first thing I did, I took my soldering iron and I took out this part that was uh, smoked. And if you can read this, it says uh, 220, 230 volts and it's gonna step the AC voltage down to 3, 3.5 volts. And uh, that is quite strange because if you look at, sorry for all the mess behind me here. So if you look at the circuit board that was uh, attached uh, inside uh, of the bench drill, uh, it actually say here AC 5 volts. So it seems like this expects AC 5 volt. Um, this is uh, calibrated to three, three and a half volts. So no wonder if this got hot and burned. Of course, uh, I didn't have the proper uh, equipment and I don't really know how this electronics work in detail. So I Googled around and I figured out it's actually possible to put a DC power supply on a AC power supply. So this has built in AC to DC converter and step down. Uh, but if you power it with the DC, that works fine. So DC into a AC power supply works at least in some um, circumstances. And uh, so I just took a chance and it worked perfectly. But what happens is that uh, the stuff on here expects uh, uh, more voltage uh, then it's going to output. So it was uh, the voltage times square root uh, to something, some formula I found. And uh, it says 3 volts on the circuit board, some other place here. So I tested with 3 volts uh, DC on the LED, on the laser LEDs, and that worked perfectly. So I figured out, okay, this one needs 3 volts. So I just measured the output pins for the laser and I took a power supply that I had laying around. This one is actually 6 volts and then I soldered on this uh, DC to DC step down part. So this one has a potentiometer where you can just uh, uh, turn down the voltage. So I'm starting with 6 volts here, turning it down to 4.5. And then I get 3 voltage uh, volt out, uh, which is, uh, I think it's the correct one. So I've done some testing, seems to work. I need to make this uh, enclosure, put this back and add some um, way of wiring this inside of the machine. So I will end up with a separate power supply for the electronics and uh, I will check if this works. So I'm gonna do some more soldering here and um, then I will show you how I'm gonna put everything uh, back to place in the bench drill. Okay so maybe I can show you some measurements. So this is power supply. It uh, supplies uh, 6 volt and 3.5 and uh, amps and I hope that is more than enough. Then I have my multimeter here and then I have the DC to DC step down and let me measure it. So if I take the input, uh, this power supply, it doesn't really supply 6 volt, 5.42, that is the measurement. And on the output, so I turn this knob here and the output reads 4.46 voltage. So that is the, now the DC power I'm putting in here so I could also measure it of course on these wires but uh, then I can measure the output here yeah 3.01 should be close enough but I will also put some uh, hot glue here using my small hot glue gun so let me zoom in I seal off this knob so it, it doesn't uh, shift because this uh, small screw here is what uh, sets the correct voltage. This is how it looks like now. It's a pretty sight, but uh, this isn't too big of a job. This uh, panel goes like this. And the LCD display is gonna 
just be mounted inside here. Two screws holding it. Previously, uh, this was powered. The circuit board got power from the main power uh, going to the motor. Now I have a separate cable, so I will thread the cable amongst with the other ones and uh, it will go up into the top here, follow the other cables and then coming outside of uh, this uh, area here, following the other power cable. So that is something I think I'll just do off camera. I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, the head unit is uh, back on place and I'll thread the wires. This was a bracket uh, that was holding uh, most of the wires when they come from the box and up. And it's actually too small and it uh, didn't really manage to hold all the wires or uh, the cables, sorry. So I made, I made a custom one and, uh, out of steel and I just had some tape on it. And I'll try to show you up here, I need to lift my camera. So you can see here that there's a lot of cables coming up. So when the motor is turning, this small bracket here is measuring the RPM. And when hovering over the cables here, it's almost touching them, very little clearance. So this bracket is, uh, or this clamp is here to hold this all these uh, cables down properly and the previous one actually I saw some wear on one of the cables there they were touching almost uh, or barely to the bracket there so uh, hopefully this is a better solution securing all the cables and I of course added one extra cable now for the low voltage power supply so then I at least needed a better support there are also two other clamps uh, here uh, securing the cables and they are better so they are like this holding the cables uh, along the side there so it's uh, the next job now is just to root the cables and uh, make sure uh, nothing is touching anything and uh, works as uh, previously hopefully this is a new cable for the Three volts, and uh, now I resoldered on. I had to take apart this to thread the cable through, and now I resolder it. I didn't have any heat shrink to fit around this, so I made this uh, temporary box. Let's see if we can use that one. Uh, enclosure for this one. This uh, can be hot. I need to. Uh, Check it. So maybe I will make a, a metal box so I can get some cooling through the metal as well. But uh, this is good enough now for testing it. And then let's try to plug in the power. Okay, nothing has blown up yet. So this was the 3 volts and then it's the main power for the bench drill. Then it's testing the laser. Yep. And there it is. Hard to see since it's so bright in here. Let me turn off. Now it got pitch dark, but uh, at least now you can see the laser. So that one is working. Great. And then it's testing the display again. See if it has come back to life. Yeah, perfect. Let me bring the camera closer. And, uh, I have got a new noise now, some kind of clicking noise. I didn't have that previously, so... Okay, it was uh, one of my, it was the new cable, uh, still touching barely the sensor. It's very uh, tight. Uh, I could have rerouted some of the cables on the other side of the wheels up here, but uh, I managed to tuck them 
nice and tight and uh, back to normal so everything works fine now and I can speed it up and slow it down Some uh, small noises when I, when I have specific uh, RPMs, I can hear some noise and just uh, changing the RPM and the noise disappears. So if, if it's vibration or if there are something uh, going on, I've been using, sorry, let me turn this off. I've been using this now for um, three weeks regularly, daily, a lot. It's, uh, I'm very um, satisfied with the performance. I thought I'd, I measured this. I got some questions about the, uh, how precise it is. So I have this small uh, measurement tool that I can test. Uh, give me a sec. So now I have a regular drill bit. That's a 10 millimeter uh, drill, steel drill. So let me fasten this one. Okay, I put this so I got some pressure here. Okay, there. And then let us set that a zero point. And let me rotate this. So it seems to have 0 0.1 millimeters um, sideways variation. Testing one more time. So let's try to rotate this again. Zero. Down to 10. Up to plus two, minus 10, or is it the other way? So it seems to be, the variation is around 12. I don't know, is this good, is this bad? Anybody know? Please let me know uh, in the comments. It would be nice to know if uh, any of you knew what this should have been. Should it be so precise that it should be close to like zero? At least for my drilling, this is good. This is fine. I had uh, never any problem with uh, our wobbling when, when I'm drilling. So it's not like things are shaking. When I'm drilling, it feels like it's straight on. So, okay, now it works again. I can uh, make the RPM turn up now. That's cool. Now I have 60 RPM. And the laser is working again. And the light is working. So now I am perfectly happy. So if you're able to do this job on uh, fixing the panel here, like I did, it cost me nothing. It's like uh, two dollars or something this uh, regulator and I had the old power supply so for me it's this is a piece of cake but if you can't uh, fix this then you are in big danger of this uh, being broke after some days if they don't fix this uh, electronics and replace it with something better so still I'm not sure if I should recommend it or not uh, no that will be up to you would you buy it would you not buy it because of this please let me know uh, fun to get some comments uh, since I'm uh, new on making these YouTube videos. I don't have any more uh, much uh, visitors so a couple of comments would be nice. Bye-bye! <laughs>